I'm standing here on the second floor of the Whelan Pavilion at the High Museum of Art with Radcliffe Bailey in front of his work, Windward Coast. Radcliffe, will you tell us about this work? Windward Coast came about maybe like five years ago and I was working on a body of work that was based on music and I started using uh, piano keys just collecting objects that had more like layers of meaning. I say layers of meaning like take for instance a piano has played so many songs from one piano and these are probably a couple hundred sets of piano keys. And 88 keys per piano. 88 keys per piano. I'm thinking about all those different sounds that come together but I'm also thinking about things that bond people and I'm thinking about the one thing that bonds people all around the world is music. The one thing we do have in common but I also think about um, all the storms and the change of climate all around the world and um, all the changes. There's a fragment of this piece that relates to New Orleans. Then there's other parts of it that I can think about that have happened recently in Japan. So it's a mix of a lot of different things. Will you also go back and talk a little bit more about the title of the work? When we're close, it was almost like a story of those um, who were lost at sea and who were fed to sharks um, during the Middle Passage. But then, more of like a calm, and how the sea is so big that when you're out in the middle of the sea, and I remember as a kid going fishing with my father, when you're out in the middle of the sea, there's this calm that you have. It can overwhelm you, but then at the same time, you're at peace with it. It's like finding peace within chaos.